What's up, everybody? Matt Nuzzo hanging out here at Rio. We've got Brandon Scheid from Slingshot. Brandon, talk about some winging. Yeah. Talk about some winging gear. Yeah. Exciting. So two cool products from Slingshot that we really love, uh, the Wingcraft V2 and the Hard Handle Sling Wing V3. So uh, really fun products. They've got a few unique features that, that uh, works well on them. The Wingcraft V2, you know, from my feeling, it was like I got on this board and I was like, this board is way more stable than the volume that's normally on there, you know? So like a lot of people are like fixated, like my volume is X, right? But if you get on a 60 liter board of one brand, it's gonna ride very different than another brand. And a lot of, you know, sometimes I've gotten on a board that was 20 liters more than the board that I ride, and I just keep falling off the nose. Yeah, <laughs> so I yeah. Remember those experiences? Yeah, absolutely. Whereas I got on this board, and you know, I normally ride 50, 60 liter wing boards, I got on the 60, I was like, this thing is like a plank, dude. Yeah. Like it's super stable. Like yeah. it was very uh, easy and it rode bigger in volume, you know? So yeah. tell me how, how does that work? Well, you hit kind of the nail on the, on the head is the idea behind this board is to make them stable at, at lower volumes and lower sizes mm. so that we can reduce the swing weight and the overall size of the board that we're winging on. We all know what's the pain point in winging? Water starting, yep. right? That's once you're up and riding, everything kind of calms down. You, yeah. know, you may be working on tacks and jives or whatever, but the water right. start is the critical moment. So anything we can do... You're not foiling unless you get on foil. <laughs> anything we can do to make the water start easier was the goal. And right. by optimizing both the outline and the volume distribution of this board yep. per its size and volume, right. we were able to make a board that is extremely stable for its for its volume, like the metric of the volume. Yeah. And also, that's the metric everyone pays attention to. I don't I understand want... why people don't look at the length, look at the dims shit. at all. They're right. like, oh, I'm an 80 liter. You're like, well, now with the SUP boards, you could get an 80 liter that's yeah. 17 wide. <laughs> right. Is that the it's right board hard for as you? Right, right, right. Yeah. So um, volume is just one of the important things, but what this board allows you to do is really quickly get to the volume that you desire because mm -hmm. the stability is going to be there. Right. And then on top of that, um, you notice there's a, there's a lot of stuff going on in wing boards where there's lots of chines and steps and all mm -hmm. kinds of stuff. You'll notice this board does not have yeah. a lot of chine or steps. It's got a step. pretty big flip tip here, you know, yep. like kind of higher volume flip yep. tip. And a and, really sharp rail out and the back. it's like kind of soft rail, but like pretty dead flat bottom yeah, like from here back and hard rail and from right what back. you know about surfboards when you have no rocker and not a lot of like concave or anything yeah. what the boards are fast like yeah. a surfboard with no concave no rocker super yeah. smooth you get it on a on a high line mm -hmm. and you're just going a thousand miles an hour yep. so same thing here we don't want drag because right. in that water start you want efficiency you want that board to instantly get on plane cool. and take off so we looked at planing hauls and windsurfing from the yeah. 80s and we're right. like okay what were they doing when they needed light wind windsurfers tony yeah. being a windsurfer yeah. and a board shaper mad scientist um came up with this board and and we were really kind of like okay well hey it's like you know like people are doing chines and steps and all this stuff are you sure about Let's this? Try this out yeah and we wrote it and the whole team from from our like kind of regular wingers in the office who are just mm. after work winger yeah. people to our intense testing staff. Right, the 120 we're, liter rider to the we're to the pro, yeah. by how easy it is to ride and how yeah, cool. easy you can get on a small board mm. and um, yeah, just impress, really impressive. Like you said, product. this is a good progression volume board. So it's like you can, you know, you can get a little lower than the volume that you, uh, you can go into your kind of aspirational volume quicker um, and, and get there. I think a lot of people are going too small, too light in volume as an overall, uh, but this allows you to kind of get a little closer and get more kind of uh, satisfaction and progression with that. Yeah, just for point of reference, I weigh 195, mm -hmm. sometimes shaming, down yeah. to 188. Uh, <laughs> I ride the 60 liter yeah. as my daily driver, right. like whether it's light wind 5.5 five meter yeah. or it's nuking 3.5 meter. Right. I find that this one, the swing weight, the everything, it's just easy for me to get up no matter what the conditions. Mm -hmm. If it's like really, really, really on, I'll jump down to the 50, 50 liter because yeah. it's a little bit smaller and it's yeah. like, I just stand on it and there's like nothing beneath me. Yep. But we're finding a lot of success on this board in the 70 and 80 liter range, yep. which for a lot of people, they're like first boards are like 140 yeah. and then they go 90, mm -hmm. but this allows you to kind of step into Drop that. Into a small yeah, size. yeah. Cool. And then another really nice feature that you, that you have your hands on for yeah. me, because I have, I have a small car. I, I don't have, I'm not van lifer. <laughs> so I have to take my foil apart. Yeah. at the end of every session right and for me sliding the tracks out the backs is super easy i just want yeah, it right out the put back all, put, put all it, the tracks on yeah on and you notice they're long line. 15 inch right yeah. like slingshot doesn't do short tracks mm -hmm. we want as much adjustment right because look 
you might ride this without a slingshot foil and yep. you need the, the, to be able to work yeah. with your setup. You know, everyone's talking shims and tuning and like, how do I get yeah, it perfect? Yeah. So it gives people the Give ability. The option, yeah. yeah. Also the deck pad's been improved. It's like a, a softer EVA. It's not quite that kind of like. You don't want wing knee. Don't want knee. Or I saw someone with terrible wing foot the other oh, day. Oh, yeah, had their, their foot looked like hamburger, man. Oh, it was man. like wing foot. It was like, whoosh, dude, you gotta wear booties and you gotta wear knee pads, like no wing knee, no wing foot. Yeah. Um, this this pad will help, but you know, making sure you're well protected when you're winging is definitely yeah, an important yeah, thing. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, Brandon, how do the bigger sizes like for um, bigger sizes of wing craft, like, you know, like a lot of people uh, of our customers have been getting these in the larger sizes. Yeah. Like, can you speak to kind of like how the, the, the 120s and the big, big yeah, boys Yeah, absolutely. Drive? So the line is 140 through mm. 50, yeah. um, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 105, 120, 140. Yep. There is a change in the line that happens. Um, what you'll see is on our boards that we have here, which is an 80 and a 60, mm -hmm. you're gonna see like a really square tail. Yep. Um, on the bigger ones, you're gonna see more of a taper into the tail because yep. as the boards get bigger, if you had too wide of a tail block, it would like overpower. You couldn't edge the boards. You couldn't, yeah. they weren't that maneuverable. So you will see a transition in the tail shape. Okay. However, same thing as these, the, the volume distribution is certainly canted more towards the front of the board. Right. So when you're popping up, it's, it's not hard. You're not pushing the board under yeah. the water. And at 140 liters with these dims, they're like, I don't want to say they're like cruise ships. Yeah. Because for me, I've been winging for three years. Yeah, yeah. So a 140 feels huge. But a 220 pound dude. That, Man, they're, they're finding right. so much stability and some so of those much bigger, easy bigger riding. riders that are 200 pounds plus. Yeah. They're having to go to 160, 170, seven foot giant boards. Yeah. And you and, can't even fit it in your car. Right. And yeah. so like that 140 is amazing for a, you know, because it has more kind of uh, volume feel like you know the traditional term mm -hmm. volume is volume it's mm -hmm. a it's a metric but you can uh, you know it's going to basically move more stable than any other 130 or 140 out there yeah. that's like a great great beginner board light wind board and yeah and the raw dims of that 140 are again they're not massive right it's not it's, super long it's yeah. got the the leaderage that you need without having excessive board all around you yeah. that just makes it hard to control yeah you know when you ride those big boards at first you're like I, you almost don't even feel the foil. You're like, yeah. where is that thing? Yeah. So the smaller that we can pull that in, the more yeah. you're gonna have a connection to that foil, cool. which is what's important to develop in the beginning. Yeah, and that's cool. One of the cool things that they did here is they were, they were getting the uh, they were getting the size is specific to the riders, right? So Brandon's yeah. like on the small sizes, they have a lot different design specs than what they're looking for. There's some characteristics to go throughout, but they're not just kind of like, hey, this is the size, scale it and go. Correct. Right. So that 105 and bigger has got different needs than the smaller size. Correct. Sizes, so. Absolutely. Um, cool, man. Let's uh, talk about this wing real quick. I know we've done a, a done a review on the hard handled sling wing. Um, this is a really really fun wing. Uh, the things that I've noticed about the sling wing. Uh, just is very user friendly. A lot of low end power, right? Gets yep. you up and got that get up and go. The three five is one of my favorite wings it's out insane. there. <laughs> it's so incredible. It's so good. It yeah. always was with the soft handles. So they have the sling wing with soft handles, uh, which is really nice because the soft handles are really lightweight and very controllable. And then when you get into the hard handles, a little more feedback, you know. So what is this this wing in your guys' line? And how you know? Tell me a little more about it. So um, if you're familiar with our line or not, mm -hmm. um, this is our like performance wing. It's yeah. gonna give you, like you said, stability, control. And the most important metric here that we felt in winging was power. Again, water start is the bottleneck. Right. If we can make the water start easier, we're gonna make more wingers have success. So right. what we wanted is we wanted a wing that wasn't excessively wide, yeah. so you don't catch wing tips. And when you pull that throttle in, you feel the throttle. Nice. And what that does is that gets you up and riding nice and quick and easy. On the flip side, that also means once you're good at winging, you can ride a smaller wing than your friends. So right. your friends are like, oh, I'm going on my 5.0, which 5.0 is fun, but yeah. it, like I would way rather go on my 3.5. Yeah. So your ability to get more out of the wind right. um, is essential. Right. And then um, because our wing is still performing so great and everything's working really well, but we saw this this kind of in, inclusion of the, of the hard handles coming into right. the industry of winging. Mm -hmm. Um, we wanted to make sure that our customers and could still have access to that feel if that mm. is exactly what they desired. And yeah. what the difference is here, in my opinion, is you gain a lot of control. Mm -hmm. So you, you have instant control over the wing in all three axis. Mm -hmm. That's you know power and power on, which is pitch. Yep. You got yaw, which is going to be like the wing going like up and down with your yeah. arm. Yep. And then you have roll which yeah. is like the wingtips in and out. Yep. Well, with soft handles, you, you don't have that much roll. roll. Yeah. 
and so you gain a lot of roll control. Yeah. Additionally, when you're free flying, so if you're flying off of here on the nose handle, yeah. it's really juicy wave, that's all good. But if you're like, I may want some power, I'm yeah. not sure, you you're able to grab right here. On I the... really like that part, like yeah. in the gorgeous, like kind of not fully flagged down going, but just, hey, I'm just gonna pop on a quick one, go. And the cool thing about this is here, you have no pitch control. Yeah, that Here yeah, you have pitch, roll, and yaw yeah. all on your, on the, on yeah. your hand. So it gives you a lot more control over the wing when you're in the free fly. I find I really, really love the hard handles in the in the big wing sizes. Yep. I think it's really great. Mm -hmm. They're really direct. Mm -hmm. However, much like a, a stiffly tuned suspension, mm -hmm. you feel everything. I feel it, yeah. So sometimes when it's really gusty or yep. uh, it's going to be really juicy mm -hmm. and I know it's a lot of power, go I'll soft. go back to soft yeah. because it's like having that Cadillac suspension yeah. in there. And in those conditions, I don't need to have like precision control. Yeah. It's so windy and wavy. I'm yeah. riding waves basically. The right, whole you're time. riding waves. You're barely just towing <laughs> in. I'm not using the in. handles all yeah. that much. Yeah. Yeah, and I think, you know, something that beginners a lot of times don't think about, everyone's like hard handles, hard handles. Hard handles hurt, they hurt when you hit you in the head. Yeah. They hurt yeah. your board when you hit the board. So yeah. they've got these nice little bumpers on here and stuff, but just do be aware that like, you know, hard handles are great, but there are some drawbacks, which is pain. A little bit more weight as well. <laughs> a little, little more weight. weight and a little bit pack, like packable, right? Like yeah. I don't have to take these off to pack the wing, yeah. but if I were going traveling, yeah. I would take these off, right? Yeah, right? With my soft handle wings, I just wad them up and whatever. Yeah, it's like pretty easy. Ball, right? so, so there's pluses and minuses to each of them. Yep. I will say, I, I think the industry is going to go this way. Yeah. So I, I think you're going to see a lot more, definitely more stuff from Slingshot and a lot more stuff from everybody that's going to conform a lot more to the yeah. hard handle. Cool. I'm sure you're seeing it. Yeah, for um, sure. And I yeah. mean, they definitely, the, the feedback is awesome. They, they feel great. And yeah, great, absolutely. So. Awesome, bro. Well, thanks for the, uh, thanks for the product knowledge. It's great to, to talk to the yeah. guys that are testing and yeah. putting this stuff through the paces. Yeah, and we're trying. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah we, you're definitely guys, are, you guys definitely <laughs> are doing that. So making some cool stuff. If you want more reviews, reach out realwatersports.com or give us a call to shop 252-987-6000. See you guys on the water for the next session.